welcome back to the Retro Football Kits YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today we have a football kit tier list for the World Cup of 1994, which means two things. We're going to be talking about some really good kits. And I have another excuse to wear one of the best footballing jackets ever. So it's going to be a good day. Before we get into that, this tier list was actually recommended in the comments of one of our other videos. So thank you for that. Uh, make sure you let us know what other tournaments you want us to do. Get in the comments below and also please press subscribe. We're bringing you football shirt content weekly. So make sure you check us out. Now, without further ado, let me introduce you to the tier list. And this changes every week now. We have uh, five categories, one being God tier, all right? Uh, next one being Little Stunners. N middle of the road would be Got It Right. Uh, second from bottom is Basic. And finally, they just didn't care. Now, I'm going to try and be strict because this is a really good tournament. I'm going to be trying to be strict with shirts. God Tier needs to be good. Uh, and they just don't care. Needs to be. They just don't care. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, those are the tiers and let's get on with it. We start with Argentina, of course. And uh, this tournament was probably more remembered for that goal and celebration from Maradona. Of course, it's remembered for Maradona. But this tournament, they, they didn't do too well. They, they qualified third in their group stages, which still made sure that they got through to the knockouts, but were knocked out by Romania in the round of 16. So no, nothing too special. And this kit is, you know, it's... it's it's nice. It's it's simple Argentina kit. I think Argentina. I like to keep it basic, um, but it is basic. So I'm going to put this one in. Got it right. Next up is Belgium, who didn't have the most exciting tournament, but had a really exciting game against Germany, where they had three goals were scored were in the first 11 minutes. So you know they had that to remember. And then they had this kit, which was sponsored by Diodora, one of the only few to be sponsored by them. And this is quite cool. This is uh, quite unique. The taping is very different. I've never seen anything like this before. I think it's it's very unique. It's very nice. It's different. It's only the taping that makes it stand out. But I do really like it actually. So I'm, I'm going to put this one in. Got it right. They got it right. It was nice. It was unique. It weren't amazing. I'm trying to be strict with this video because there's some brilliant kits to come. They got it right. Now there's 24 teams in this tournament. So I'm going to try to rattle them through them quick. So if I I'm apologising if I'm being blunt with anyone. That being said, Bolivia didn't have a great tournament and this kit is fucking terrible. <laughs> so they just didn't care. And now we have Brazil, the winners of the tournament. But you know what? They didn't do it the Brazilian way. Uh, fans of Brazil were quite upset with this tournament. They played more pragmatic opposed to being more magical, the stuff we normally get from Brazil. And they did, of course, win in probably one of the most boring finals in the World Cup history. That aside, they did have one of the most iconic celebrations ever in, in actually this blue kit that we have here. Uh, it was Bebeto doing the Rock the Baby with his with his teammates because to mark the birth of his son. Just brilliant. That We've seen that so much uh, now. So that was, that's iconic thing to come from it. And this kit, it's, it's lovely. It's got the C uh, C CBF logo in the background, it, nice colour, bold yellow. They played a lot in their away, actually, in the blue away. Both ones complement each other really well. We've got both here behind me. Really like this one. This one is going to be a little stunner for me. On to, Bulgari Bul Bul On to Bulgaria now. And, uh, the, you know, they were quite the dark horses of this tournament. They made it all the way to the semi-finals, uh, which is just incredible for them. You know, like, they really had a decent team that year. But the kit itself was a victim to to a Adidas template, a very nice Adidas template. I'm gonna put that out there. This Adidas template is beautiful in many ways. But when you have when you look at a tournament and you see the same template over and over again, it's hard to kind of make it stand out. So on its own it's beautiful, but in the tournament with some of the other ones that look a lot like it, it falls victim to that. Uh, so that that's gonna be a trend in this video. In most of these tier lists, that's gonna be a trend. So I'm gonna to have to put this one in basic, which is a shame, but it is. And now we have Cameroon who didn't have a, an amazing tournament, just a normal tournament, but the kit itself has its own story. And this is what I love about kits and football kits. They have stories, they have things behind them. So, you know, we all know Mitre for the rock solid balls they make, but they didn't make many football shirts. This was one of their first and uh, it still doesn't, it's not been told what actually happened, but basically on the pitch, they were wearing this very basic, very simple green kit but they were selling this very bold, huge Cameroon flag kit and it was and then it was brilliant and the away kit had the stars, it had this massive star in the front and, and we saw them wearing it in training and it was brilliant and everyone loves that kit but they never actually played in it in the tournament and it, it's probably because of uh, FIFA regulations, uh, kit regulations, it probably didn't meet them, they had to reproduce the new one for the team, something like that. 
but so I don't know where I ha what I have to do with this. I think I have the the boring one because that's the one they played in, uh, and that all going they just didn't care. But just know that if it, if they played in that amazing Cameroon one, that'd probably be a little stunner. But for now, this one is they just didn't care, and it's a huge shame. Again, apologies if I'm being blunt here, but Colombia didn't do much, and the kit is basic. I'm putting it in basic. I'm sorry. That's what it is. And next up, we have one of Germany's most iconic kits ever. We have the 94 World Cup Germany, of course. It's 94 World Cup because that's the tournament we're talking about. But listen, this kit is, is iconic in very many ways. They were actually the holders of the World Cup, of course, in Italia 90. They were knocked out by Bulgaria. But this kit, it's behind me. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. We uh, we did a, a video very recently, actually, top five Germany kits. So I'm going to let me talk about it real quick. Next up is the 1994 kits, and we are really just going from strength to strength here. Germany had a good period of time with these kits because this was worn in the USA World Cup. And again, it's another evolution of that design, but this time in a diamond pattern across the shoulders and the torso. And again, this one's instantly iconic. It's the intricate details that get me on this one. The DFB logo hidden in the shirt itself, obviously the bold colors on the top, and Adidas changed their logo for the first time to just text. But Adidas was surprised this year because it was the first time since 1970 that Adidas wasn't saw in any final of any competition because Italy had Diodora and Brazil had Umbro and Germany unfortunately went out in the quarterfinal stages. And again, with any good design comes remakes of teams like River Plate, teams like Leon also used this design on their shirts. Did it quite well as that. So yeah, make sure you check that video out. A card will be coming up and all that. So make sure you check that one out. Uh, I, I'm thinking for this one, it's, it's really good, isn't it? It's really nice. And I can see it just behind me. Is it God tier or is it a little stunner? I'm going little stunner that might be controversial i don't know it's not quite got i'm being strict remember i'm not i'm not putting in gods here i hope i don't regret that right greece didn't do much in their tournament didn't do much with their kit they just didn't care it's a shame but they just didn't care it's unfortunate and next up we have ireland who did quite well this tournament they finished second in their group ahead of italy in fact who uh went on to make it to the final but they come up against netherlands in the round of 16 so that was quite unfortunate but they had a good year uh, and they had a great great kit i love this kit Re i really do uh, i love the color i love the irish flag in the color i love the the, the logo behind like just behind and it's, it, it uses the badge and it incorporates it behind the away kit was really nice this year this is a little stunner it is i think it is uh, it's a little stunner i was going to put it in god tier then um but i think that would have been harsh if i didn't put the other one in but that's a little stunner for me and now we have italy oh my god the story the kit the, the jacket everything i love um if you know me on, on this channel i love italy kit so biasness may creep in here but the tournament roberto baggio the divine ponytail who's carrying the nation on his shoulders and he did it so well he had played some of the best football he was really dragging them to that final and they made the final and it was probably really a really boring final and they took take it to pens and just like diana ross in the opening ceremony he misses his pen Oh, it's heartbreak, honestly. It's absolute heartbreak. Um, we all know the Baggio documentary is coming out real soon, actually. Um, so that'll be fun. But this kit is just... <laughs> if you take away the heartbreak of the final and, and the heartbreak of Baggio, this kit is unreal. I really like this. Um, it's quite simple, but it's the little triangle designs and the car layout, of course, using the Itali Italy colours, the blue... The the, oh, the the typeface they used and you, and you can everyone can picture the Baggio on the back and the fact that they were walking out in these you know come on so for me I don't care if this is biased but it's going in God tier our first one it deserves it absolutely there we go next up we have Mexico who topped their group playing really well but again they fell victim to Bulgaria on their rise to the semi-finals and then this kit is lovely but it's not quite. 1966 is it we all know that iconic shirt it's it's one of the most iconic shirts of all time and this seems like it was the idea first put in place the first draft of that um doesn't mean it's not nice but it's kind of like it looks like the first draft of that so i think uh, i'm gonna put it in little stunners because it's really nice uh, but it's not quite that 96 amazing one. Next up we have Marco who lost all their games, but that doesn't matter because this kit is stunning. Weren't expecting this at all. Uh, when researching this video, I saw this kit and I was like, ooh, 
hello. Didn't expect Morocco to have a really nice kit, but my God, this is beautiful. It reminds me of the 92 Florentina shirt, of course, that style, Lotto's kind of original designs they were making, but my God, this is beautiful. The, the big logo in the center of the shirt, it's, it's, it's God tier. Again, it might be controversial, I'm not too sure, but what I am sure of is that is a beautiful kit and I'd love to have it. And next up we have the Netherlands, you know, who had a simple tournament, nothing to shout about too much, but they all, always produce a really nice kit. This one, very similar to a lot of their 90s lotto kits, they uh, have the nice uh, lion design all over, it's really sharp, it's really nice, I think they got it right, I don't think it's any more than that middle of the road they got it right and now we have got nigeria who turned up in style of course they did they always do they always have since but this is their first ever tournament and they did so in style they topped their group ahead of argentina had a decent tournament some cracking players and yeah the kit oh my god the kit it's so nice they had this traditional nigerian pattern that they used in all of their shirts and also the the jackets and it's so good the home kit actually falls victim of not using this pattern enough um in the away shirt it's all over and that's my favorite one the home shirt kind of covers it and just has it in the shoulder a little bit which is kind of upsetting but when you when you think of the home the away the jackets everything to do with it uh this is god tier for me it's it's so good they arrived in style and they haven't not arrived since. And next we have two more victims of the Adidas template, not taking it any further than that. We have Norway and we have Romania. Again, these kits are, are wonderful. They're so nice. Um, and I loved, I used to, I did like the Adidas bold template coming up here. It is really good. It, you can't fault it, but at the same time, it will get lost in a tournament like this. Again, so I'm so sorry, but these two both go in basic for me. Russia. Russia, you got to say something before that. We have Russia next, and uh, they were sponsored by Reebok, the only team to be sponsored by Reebok. And, and wow, I wasn't expecting this. This is funky. Uh, checkered kind of wavy patterns on the shoulders and in the collar. The collar's huge. Um, I don't like the collar. I think I love the pattern. I love the waves, but the collar's just there, and it's, and it's a bit much. Um, but it, it is really nice. Um, I don't think it's in the same category as some of the other ones but i do think it's quite nice i'm gonna say got it right because it's unique very unique very good but the color lets it down a little bit so i'm gonna put it in uh, got it right and next up we have saudi arabia who had shamal as their sponsor and it's the first time shamal's ever been seen and it's one of two times whenever saudi have been in it this kit's quite cool it's it's always cool when you're the only one with that sponsor but other than that the kit's quite basic and uh, it's, it's, yeah, I think I'm going to keep it in basic, to be honest, because it's it's nothing special, but it's quite nice. And now we have South Korea, who finished bottom their group, so, you know, nothing too big to shout about there, but they can shout about this pretty funky kit. Sponsored by Rapido, which I never knew was a brand, never heard of them, but again, that makes it unique in its own way, and this kit is quite unique. I've not, I don't think I've ever seen quite a similar design to this. I quite like it. This really kind of glitched pattern across the, the shirt. Really do think it's funky, it's nice. Um, I might put this one in a little stunner. I really think it's quite cool. Um, it's different as well, which makes it nice. Um, so I'm going to put it in a little stunner. And next up we have Spain, who I was having a really good tournament until they come up against Baggio's Italy, of course. But they, uh, they were sponsored by Adidas, didn't use that template. And this is one of their best ever kits. I've got it behind me here. I really like this. I think it would be on a Spain top five when we do make one of those. Uh, really happy with that like the diamond pattern coming down i think when you think of spain you think of something very similar to this so i really do like it they've kind of added their own rebrands to this design as well since then i think i'm going to put this one i'm going to put this one in a little stunner uh, it's not quite god tier look you know when you look at the god tier what's around it it's not there but it's really nice one of spain's best next up we have sweden who uh, made it all the way to the semis that year did really well came third in fact in that third place qualifier uh, but fall victim again to the adidas template uh, for me i love this one i love the way yellow and blue works with adidas um, sweden always smash it so i would really like this in in, um, in other circumstances but because i've put all the other ones in basic i feel like i have to put them in basic i'm so sorry I really like it, uh, but it's going in basic because I set my rules and I stick to them. Second to last, we have Switzerland, who they just fall short. I think they didn't care. No one cared about it. Lotto just left this one and made a basic one, unfortunately. So sorry about that, Switzerland. And finally, the Holy Grail. One of the best, we've, we've said that one of the best for last, the hosts of the tournament, USA. 
the two shirts just over my shoulder here, two of the best shirts in, in, in football history. I was about to say in USA's history, but I'd say football's history because these two are special. Um, I think sometimes you've got to take into account both of them because you've got the, the, the stars and the stripes, of course, very patriotic for America, of course. This is, they're, they're perfect. I really do love them. Um, I'm going to have to put them in God tier, I think. Uh, they, the home kit alone would make it into God tier, I would say, but the fact that it has that away just makes it into that top four as well. So, yeah, very special kits. We have both of them. Very fortunately, have both of them. So if you do like them, check out the website because they're quite nice. And that's it, man. We've got a very balanced tier list here today. Some of the ones previously haven't been so, so I'm really happy with that. And you know what? I'm really happy with this video. I'm quite proud of this video. This one's turned out really well. What a tournament. Some great kits. If anyone can get me that Italy shirt, please do. This Italy jacket, I'll always use an excuse to wear it. Um, but no, thanks for watching. Really appreciate all the love these videos are getting we really do appreciate it. we read every comment we get back to everyone and who knows if you recommend a tournament we'll probably do it so make sure you get your comments in below let me know about your tier list as well and of course i'll add the link to this tier list in the uh, description so you can have a go at it yourself and lastly all the shirts behind me are on the website so make sure you check out that the link will be in the description and please do subscribe thanks for watching